Hey, um, you forgot your goggles. Get home. Thanks. It's Zoe, right? You work at the deli on campus? Sorry, that's not me. No, I recognize you. You make the best meatball subs. That other guy, he's so stingy with the marinara. I don't work there anymore. Oh, sorry. Look, that thing you were doing in the water. Can I ask what it's about? Holding your breath like that? Some people meditate. I sink to the bottom of the pool. One of these days, I'm gonna get to two minutes. Wow, that sounds intense. Why do you do it? Down there, the only person looking out for me is Why me. Why coward? He did everything, so you know, he died when the car crashed sounds that they were uh, escaping in. Lonely? Maybe I like what it that way. Bad guy, I should so be getting say. Home were driving in a car and he was sitting back as a hostage look I he know died we don't in know a car other, crash but i kind of have a sense for when people need help my mom got sick a few years ago i was spending every night in the hospital with her worrying whether she'd make it and all my friends wanted to talk about was homework and boy yeah they were driving he had to avoid an uh, accident until I realized there was always someone ready to listen. The young kid was driving. He tried to avoid hitting an animal that was in the road. Right. Maybe. Just ask for me. Yep. This girl My is the daughter May. grown up now. Got it. Older. She has issues though after all this. He has anxiety problems. She takes medication for it. changing the license plate i called to check on her did you tell her any no no i just wanted to hear her voice i expect this is not gonna are you sure well. you're up for this huh? hiking over the border <laughs> i'll manage i know it's the best way to avoid the police I'll feel better in the woods. I'll spend most of my time there already. Don't you ever get lonely out there? Not really. Why? Freedom of it? Back home, someone's always telling me what to do. <laughs> Build a deck. Help with the roof. Out in the woods. My house. My rules. That does sound nice. Thank you. 
more on the manhunt for the Desert Dream killers who first robbed the Two Rock County Sheriff's house, then took shelter at a motel that turned into the scene of a... Why'd you do that? That's the thing from back home. I don't like the news. Always makes the world sound bad. It's not the world. Just the people in it. <sighs> Sorry, that was dark. Question if you should have told her. Hmm. stolen car more than you two everything okay officer just running a sobriety checkpoint here looking for any intoxicated drivers coming back from that river Hello, music festival. How are you doing? were you there no sir we we're just passing through can I ask where you're coming from Oh, yeah? Because you have Montana plates. You go to school down there or something? We were visiting the Grand Canyon. You been? No, ma'am. Oh, you gotta go. We went all the way down to the river on the back of a mule. Mm -hmm. It's way nicer than the postcards. Uh huh. Anyway, if I could just see your license and registration, you'll be on your way. Sure. Just a sec. Uh, where is it? Well, it's against the law to drive in Montana without a valid driver's license. I'm really sorry, officer. I'll need to run the plates. Dispatch, need you to run some plates for me? Montana, three, Papa, two, one, five, seven, Tango. Shit, he's gonna find out any second. What, again? Well, can't you run it manually? We need to get out of here. Look, I can explain. <sighs> Goddamn database is down again. Oh. There's a sneak peek of Y2K for you. <laughs> all right. I'm going to let you off with a warning. Next time, bring your license along for the ride. Mm -hmm. I will, officer. Go on. Get out of here. Working against the heat. It's like 32 Celsius degrees outside today. In the shadow. Yeah, it's going to be 36 Celsius degrees tomorrow. Hey, honey, how are you? You sound in a good mood. Craig and I finally decided to tie the knot. We're getting engaged. Oh. I know you're not his number one fan, but we're good for each other. Yeah, we're getting the I'm heat wave they had in the in England. Congratulations! Thank you, honey. We're having a little engagement party this weekend. I hope you can make it. On one condition, I reserve the right to split if you two start salsa dancing. So how's things at the deli? Bet you've made an impression on the boss. You could say that. 
Why? <laughs> Everything's okay there, right? Uh, to be honest, Mom, things weren't working out for me with the job. So what are you saying? Y you quit? More like, got let go. Zoe! What will you do without a job? Mom, it's fine. I've got a few things lined up. Don't worry. I'm your mother. It's my job to worry. <laughs> Zoe? Sorry, Mom. I gotta go. Hey, it's hot in all of you Europe right now. But luckily to the weekend it's gonna be cold again. to happen to a hotel and everything man Sure, let's go and shake them. Hello? If this is a joke, it's not funny. She's out with pepper spray, huh? It's late, but I, I could use a friendly ear right now. Do you mind if I come over? Oh, uh, thing is, I, I, I've run into a little uh, situation here. What kind of situation? Mr. Walker! <laughs> I'll be there in ten. <sighs> it's like I told you, I can't have tenants damaging the building. And I told you, I didn't damage a damn thing. Uh -huh. Mr. Walker, I really don't want to get into another argument. Oh. Hey there, Zussi, old boy. Zoe, thank God you're here. Now, please tell this woman I have a right to the quiet enjoyment of my own home. Huh. 
quiet enjoyment. You vandalized your front door. Okay, slow down. What happened? Somebody broke in and stole my wallet. Uh, no. Hmm. You misplaced your wallet, and you broke your own front door. Zoe, someone was here. I saw him lurking in the shadows. Did he take anything else? Yes, my slippers. Oh, give me a break. Your grandfather wandered outside in his robe for the third time this month. When he realized he didn't have his keys, he broke the door to get back in. That is not true. I wanted some air, so I, I took a walk, and, uh, and I, I saw someone, and, uh, I, and then the next thing I know, I'm arguing with, with Shelby here. That's not even my name. Yeah. Zoe, I know this is painful to hear, but your grandfather is declining. He needs a nurse or an assisted living oh, home God or... Oh, damn it! I don't need assisted anything. We <laughs> obviously have very different interpretations of what happened. Still... Somebody will have to pay for that door. Don't you have some kind of insurance? It's his front door. He broke it. Uh. He pays for it. Uh. Can you believe that woman? Assisted living. She sounds just like your mother with that nonsense. <laughs> Don't tell Shelby. But I know I didn't break my door because I keep a spare key under the mat. You do? Isn't that kind of unsafe? You want to hide something where no one will find it? Stick it right under their noses. How are you doing, kiddo? Anything new? Me? I'm fine. Oh, you don't look fine. You look like you just got back from a war. <laughs> How you been sleeping? Didn't have a bad night for months. Until the nightmares started creeping back. Now, I'm scared to fall asleep. Oh, Zoe. You were doing better a few months ago. Did something set you back? It doesn't matter. Oh. Seriously. So. I have no what idea. What else? You're still enjoying work? I got fired. I missed too many shifts. I told mom. You can imagine how that went down. Ooh, like the Titanic, I expect. Well, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. You always talked about being an investigative journalist. Why don't you go get a degree? I don't know, Grandpa. I just want to wake up on a beach somewhere. Her mother is uh, no working at the university, or well, she was before, but I don't know what she's doing Disappear now, though. But she waves. seems to have found a new... No, you Man, don't. That she's gonna take him to get with. Been a pro at running away. Wherever you run, you probably. Oh, she's alive. Nice Her mother. <sighs> Hang on. Where's my tablet, computer thing? Oh no, those bastards! I got that for my seventy-fourth. Mind if I look around a little? Maybe I can figure out who stole your stuff. Be my guest. It's just her, her dad that died. Oops, died because uh, tried to protect both the daughter and the mom. Remind me, where were you when this guy broke in? Just down the hall, I think. Sometimes I water those petunias on the shared windowsill. 
I thought you said you were taking a walk? Oh, uh, I was. <laughs> or I was going to, anyway. Yeah, he protected his family at least. They all get out alive. All books, medical books. Is this all from when you were a traveling salesman? Salesman? Yeah, you told me you used to. Wasn't that your job? Kid, back then you could say I was a jack of all trades. I think the only real job I ever had was convincing people I was someone else. <laughs> You know you've had the exact same couch my entire life? Bought that thing back in 98, the week after, you know, when we came to St. Louis. I don't know if I would say that honorably, but... Grandpa. Oh, uh, there it is. Huh. Glad they didn't take that too. Huh. Not that it matters. All I know how to do with it is play solitaire. Grandpa? Are you sure you didn't break the door yourself? God. How can I be sure of something I can't remember? And he has a... Kind of interesting though. Have you never gone and into a room? said he almost only had two in. years left. Haven't you ever oh, misplaced or lost years? something? You know I've lost plenty. I don't want to lose you too. He has a tumor in right. his uh, it's getting brain. Worse. You can't let it beat you. You fought cancer. You can fight this too. That wasn't the same. Places, dates, the school I went to. It's like someone's slowly packing my memories into boxes and none of them have labels on. Can you imagine how that feels? Hmm. I don't know. Not having to think about the past. Some things are a blessing. You must think I made this whole damn mess up. Actually, someone's been following me too, I think. What? Earlier at the pool. And then tonight at my apartment, I, I thought I saw someone. But I don't know if it's even real. I feel like we're both losing our minds. Good God. Zoe, look. I know you went through hell as a kid, losing your dad like that. And I know you sometimes think it drove you half crazy. Seriously, you don't need to remind me. I know I don't. But. That's what I'm trying to say. Hmm? I don't think you are crazy at all. Because if you were, how could we both be seeing the same thing? Grandpa? Either we're both losing our marbles or... Or what? No. It's impossible. <coughs> Stop. 
Jesus. Stop, I said. Get the fuck off me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you were. Tall rock videos. <laughs> Who the heck is Carl Rock? Oh, sweetheart, it's okay. I'm here. I was fine. I was fucking fine. And then one little trigger, and bam, it all came roaring back again. Oh, the two of us, me trying to remember you, trying to forget. I don't want to forget. I just want to not care. How do I do that? How do I make the past leave me alone when I keep seeing it everywhere I go? I guess you just need to stand up and face it. <sighs> Look it in the eye and see this thing for what it is. If the past talks to you, you will listen. And when it's done, then maybe you'll be free. I wish I had another layer on. It's gonna be beautiful once we get some altitude. What's the furthest you've ever hiked? I did the two rocks of two rock once. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh, it was hard. Come on, we got a lot of ground to cover. They just leave the car out in the open. Tell you a secret? <sighs> I've never left Arizona before. Tell me when I'm not about to collapse. I promise I'll care. Here. I wouldn't say she's intelligent. She smokes pot and she gets and uh, she, she takes acid. Oh no. You'd be going a lot faster without me. I'd be going nowhere without you. And she ignores school too. Give me I wouldn't hands. say she's intelligent then. Uh, teamwork. <sighs> I don't get it. I'm cold and wet. My legs hurt like I've been in double gym all week. And you're the energizer bunny, just <laughs> going and going. How do you do it? Been doing this all my life. You've been doing it since lunch. <laughs> okay. Yeah, true. I'll get the hang of it. And she smokes. Yes. Ugh. Evil people who smokes. <clears throat> right, Diggy? <it? laughs> my God. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. Sometimes at home, around sunset, me and my mom used to walk out into the desert and on a hot day, if there was enough haze, the sun would just bloom like a giant fireball on the horizon. Was it better than this? Yeah, just smoking. Different company. Effects are unfortunate. Hey, you're bleeding. Shit. I didn't even feel this happen. Let me see. <laughs> there, that's better. I'm glad you know what you're doing. So, how do we get over the border? We're gonna have to swim. Won't it be cold? Freezing, probably. But it's good for you. Wakes you up. 
Way better than coffee. <laughs> ah. <gasps> Get down. <sighs> Vanessa, are you there? It's me. It's Dad. Dad? What are you doing here? Do you know? Do you have any idea who you run away with? Y yes, his name's Dean. <clears throat> yes, uh, this isn't right. How did he find us? Look, can we just talk for a few minutes? Please. Get up to that ridge. It's the only way. What's the point? He'll just keep following wherever I go. He thinks he can carry me home over his shoulder like I'm still a little girl. Well, fuck that. Vanessa, what are you doing? Hold your fire. Dad, you have gone too far this time. Dean and I are in love. You can hate it, you can call me names, but it won't... Who are... What are they doing? Stop it! Let me go! I'm sorry, honey. It's the only way. That asshole. The two bad guys? Well, one... the authority of the FBI. What? I'll admit, you nearly gave us a slip. That ranger at the entry kiosk earned his paycheck today. Now I already have your confession, so this is where it ends, Jay. I'm not letting you people send me to die. Thing is, your friend Vanessa's been aiding and abetting you. She's going to juvenile corrections. Prison. At 18. Her life's over, Jay. Hear what I'm saying? You're full of shit. Again. You're not sending her to jail. It's me you want. Actually, we want both of you. But it's you we want more. And that means you have some leverage. <sighs> Go on. Your turn. Jay, listen to me. Whatever Vanessa is to you, she was my little girl once. Slept on my chest, walked on my feet. And the special agent here, he says the only way she'll get a deal is if she testifies against you. Which can't happen unless you give yourself up. So please, do the right thing. For her. I don't trust him. He lied so many times. No! Let's go, let's go! The FBI director is a douche, but he lied so badly to us before. So. Don't do it, kid. You'll never make it. If I live, you won't find me again. 
if you jump, you die. Even with a capital conviction, you could live 15 years or more just on appeals. You know how birds learn to fly? Their moms push them out of the nest. And once they're falling, they got no choice. Ah, oh, damn it. Contact Border Patrol. Let me know when they find his corpse. Where is he? Did he... He's gone. Probably dead. Daddy, please. Tell them to let me go. It's over. Your plan didn't work. Our deal was she goes free once he's in custody. And that didn't happen. <laughs> right, you ruined another of your kids' lives. Sure, this is the spot? It's not on the trail map. I'm good. Thank you. Doggy. Whoa, easy. What and hello, Randy. How you doing, buddy? What's got into you? Don't speak. Don't make a sound. He has pepper spray on. My God. Zoe. Hi, Jay. I wasn't even sure you got the letters. One a month, ever since March. You know you're still wanted by the FBI, right? How'd you even find me? The post office. I had your P.O. box number, and they helped me with the rest. People are nice here. Yeah, they are. You look so different. I knew you'd grown up, but <laughs> in my mind, you're still that scared little kid. You look older, too. Huh. More than I expected. Well, 14 years outside will do that to you. Hey, come sit down. I got a chair on the patio. And I promise, you won't need that pepper spray. I used to think so. I've seen it a lot. It's so strange that you're here. Thought about you and your family so much over the years. So you said. In your letters. I tried not to think about yours. But I never had much luck at that. <sighs> oh. I have a lot of questions. About your life and... Go for it. I don't have anywhere to be. You know, the world thought you were dead after you jumped off that cliff. I almost was. I must have blacked out when I hit the water. But I don't remember swimming to shore.
In all these years, you've never been recognized? I had some close calls in town. Mm. But you don't really know. You just feel people One of his looking. brothers got killed by a sniper, so a cop sniper, Library, and the other one got to take him into jail. That's about it. What about that girl you ran away with? Vanessa? I look her up sometimes. She went to Juvenile Hall for a while. But she's a... something with lawyers now. She turned out okay. You don't know that. Nobody can know if someone's okay. I guess you're right. Stepbrothers, it turns out to be. I hope she's happy. She deserves it. Do you ever hear from your family? Nah. Tyler's on death row in Arizona. Ma pled guilty and got off easier. And that's it. It's just me now. I don't remember you having a scar before. Oh, I used to explore a lot in the early days. One time I came across a bear that I thought was hurt. Turns out she'd just had cubs. Lesson learned. So, why'd you come here, Zoe? You said you wanted to talk. I said I wanted you to write. But you came. In person. Why? I keep seeing your face. And my dreams. Out on the streets. And? And I knew if I didn't come look you in the eye... That you couldn't move on. If you want to talk about it, I might understand better than most. And I'm good at listening. That night, when you took me upstairs and the power went out, do you remember? Of course. I was just as scared as you. You said, don't make a sound. And it's like, I've been holding my breath ever since. When all I really want to do is scream and scream and never stop. I was just trying to get you quiet. The cops were breaking in. I didn't want you to get hurt. I know. I didn't say it made sense. You know what the two of us have in common? We both got dealt a shitty hand and spent the rest of our lives trying not to fold. You and me, we're a lot alike. Mm, well, in a sense, yes. Maybe in some ways. <laughs> Jay, why... Why'd you start writing me? I told you. There's a lot I never got to talk about. I know. But why me? You said you see my face at night. Sometimes... I see yours too. Well, but I All these years later, keep your dog's uh, ears. I think I'd be able to protect move the, on. Don't scream. But I never have. You must hate me. After everything my family did to you. Jay, I won't lie. Seeing you isn't easy. You were part of my dad's death. I've been afraid of this moment for a very long time, but you also looked out for me that night. I can't pretend I don't remember that too. How can you be so forgiving? Because if I let myself hate you, then I'm lost. I know the feeling. Jay. Are you okay? I mean, are you really okay? I always told myself I got dragged into it. 
that my family was just pushing me around. But what if I'm wrong? What if it's who I am? Do you think I'm bad? Am I... Am I broken? It might be. But who isn't broken? Just look at us. Anyone who pretends they're whole, they're full of shit. It's a fucked up world, I guess. It's a fucked up world. Oh, I should get back down to the bus stop. That's probably a good idea. Take care of yourself, all right? Sure. You too. Yeah, he didn't have an easy upbringing, as we learned in the in the, the chapters. Thing about shadows is, today. you can't escape them. You just learn to keep them behind you and look toward the light. Some of us find ways to endure. While others just wither on the vine. I don't know the answers. But I know I'm done running from shadows. Nobody's chasing me. Nobody ever was. Hey, Zoe. Uh, it's, it's Grandpa. I was thinking about our conversation the other day about facing up to things, and uh, well, there's something I've never told anyone. That day in Two Rock, when I suggested we take the scenic route, there was a reason. I'd been there before, you see. Everything that came afterward, the death dream, all of it, I think it was all my fault. Please, you don't have to do this. Just calm down and make this easier. Okay, tell him he can have it. It's all in two up. Grandpa? Uh, okay. 